Ezekiel 24 follows a series of chapters illustrating Jerusalem and the children of Israel as a chosen daughter of God, one who belonged to God, chosen for his purposes, yet left him to pursue a lifestyle far outside of God's boundaries, a lifestyle pursuing the lusts of the flesh, promiscuity, and detestable sin. God has been speaking through the prophet Ezekiel that judgment is coming, and today, in chapter 24, Babylon begins the attack on Jerusalem. Ezekiel is instructed to preach a parable, illustrating this judgment by portraying a person cooking meat in a pot of boiling water, meat, bones and all, then pulling the meat out and taking note of the deposit or scum that is left hardened on the dirty pot. Now set the empty pot on the coals, heat it red hot, burn away the filth and corruption, but it's hopeless. The corruption can't be cleaned out, so throw it into the fire. Your impurity is your lewdness and the corruption of your idolatry. I tried to cleanse you, but you refused. So now you will remain in your filth until my fury against you has been satisfied. This is a sharp warning of the way sin can corrupt our hearts. If allowed to go unchecked, it can build like hardened residue or crust on a pot. And I don't know about you, but I've tried to scrub residue off a pot that just seemed impossible to remove. It's extremely frustrating. But here's the good news. Jesus Christ, our Savior, has removed it all from each of us that turn to him in faith. 1 John chapter 1, verse 8 and 9 read, If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So here's the application for today. Don't let any sin go unchecked or it will become solidified in your life like residue on a cooking pot. Sin can easily take root in our hearts, so keep short accounts with God. When we sin, and we will, we must immediately ask God to forgive us. Then take joy in that forgiveness, knowing that we are completely cleansed, completely free, and completely alive in Christ. Thank you.